Hey, look worried. Well, I am a little. Anything I can help with? Actually, you're the one I'm worried about. Look, as long as AJ stays out of prison, there's plenty of time to figure everything else out. I know, but don't you think it's a little too good to be true? He was facing really serious charges. AJ had some information on a criminal, an ex-spy named Faison. I guess it was valuable enough to keep him out of prison. That is. Sorry, I'm happy for you. It's very good news. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. I, mean, I didn't even think that AJ would be able to avoid going to prison. Yeah, I still barely know him, but I'm not sure how long he would be able to survive. It's okay. It's over now. You don't even yeah. have to worry about it. Right now, I have to worry about the fact that AJ hates my parents, and they hate him as well. And that each side is convinced that the other is the worst thing that ever happened to me. I know how that feels. I felt like I was torn in seven different directions all at once by my family. Oh, you seem pretty sane to me. How'd you handle it? Well, what I learned from my dad is that I could forgive him without making excuses or defending him. Well, it's not about defending him. It's just I want my parents to back off, you know, and let me figure this out for myself. Where is AJ right now? I know Diane said he had to take care of some business. What kind? I have no idea. AJ, it's true. AJ got Carly pregnant. But he was too drunk to remember and too screwed up to be any kind of father. You're so much better, aren't you? Michael got shot because of you. Yeah, he got shot, and he recovered, and he's my son. We got a special bond, and no one's going to shake that, especially you. Because, because you must have done something the other day that really shook it. I, I couldn't get the details, but it must have been real bad. What are you talking about? You know, Michael knows the truth about you, Sonny. He knows who you are and what you are, and that's a thug and a bully. And you proved that when you threatened my life to try and make me sign away my rights to my son. You're always a victim, AJ, always making excuses for what you did, uh, always feeling sorry for yourself. When are you going to grow up? I don't understand it. You know, you're right, Sonny. Today, today's a good day. And I'm a free man, free to have a relationship with my son. And I really just came here for one reason. And that's to tell you not to interfere with it. Are you telling me to stay away from my son? I'm telling you that I think there's enough room in his life for both of us. Don't you? I can't tell you how many times I've squared off with my dad. At family dinners, at the courthouse, at the police station. Every time it was awful, but we got through it. I don't want to fight with him, but... I'm also not going to turn my back on AJ. Yeah, well, unfortunately, the better person always has to do the heavy lifting in order to maintain the relationships. You're going to have to broker some kind of peace, unless you're going to spend the rest of your life watching AJ and Sonny tear each other to pieces over you. What happens next is not up to me. Michael's going to decide what he's going to do about us. I'll tell you what, I'll take that as a yes, that you believe there's enough room in Michael's life for both of us. What do you say? I'll take a rain check. Boxing, huh? I used to do a little sparring back in the day. Yeah, I remember Jagger Cates knocked you on your ass. Well, that, that admittedly wasn't my finest hour, but you know, I, I stuck with it after that. I actually improved a little bit. You wanna go a few rounds? <laughs> uh, it's been a long time. Huh? I'm rusty. I, mean, I wish I knew where AJ was. I really want to talk to him. He probably has a ton of legal papers to file, and maybe he went to go see his mom. Yeah. Right? To tell her the good news in person? One of my parents, no. And my mom was so convinced that AJ was going to prison. Now that he's not, she, she's going to have a meltdown. I just think you have to let your mom know that working at ELQ and having a relationship with AJ again isn't going to change the person that you are. I'm not sure she's going to believe that. He said, my dad, my dad is going to lose it. Your dad still loves you. He's just feeling a little threatened right now. Once he adjusts, I'm sure everything will calm down. You wouldn't say that if you've known what he's done. Can't be any worse than the things my father's pulled. Yeah, it's pr probably best not to compare our father's point fingers at who knows how many crimes they've committed. You can't change Sonny any more than I can change my dad. But you can set boundaries for yourself. Oh, boundaries, yeah, my dad's not very good at respecting boundaries. Not mine or anyone else's. You know what you should do? You should tell your dad that you still think of him as the man that is your father. 
right? That would maybe help him out a bit. People like Sonny and my dad, they're very powerful, but they're still weak at the same time. And I, my dad needs to know that we love him or else he just falls apart. And I think that Sonny is the same way. You're really good, you know that? You're <laughs> very perceptive. Well, I've just I've learned from experience. My dad is a complete control freak and it drives me crazy, but I just think it's because he's scared. I think Sonny is too. You just need to let him know that you are a grown man. You have to make your own decisions about AJ. <laughs> Whenever I mention AJ's name, I get a laundry list of all the crimes he's committed, which is all true, but my father's committed just as much that's pointless. There's no point comparing the two, trying to decide who's worse. I think you should call your dad. I don't know. The last time I talked to my dad, I, I almost called the cops on him. It didn't end well. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times I've squared off with my dad. At family dinners, at the courthouse, at the police station. Every time it was awful, but we got through it. I don't want to fight with him, but... I'm also not going to turn my back on AJ. Yeah, well, unfortunately, the better person always has to do the heavy lifting in order to maintain the relationships. You're gonna have to broker some kind of peace, or else you're gonna spend the rest of your life watching AJ and Sonny tear each other to pieces over you. What happens next? Did you talk to your dad? No, he didn't answer. Did you leave him a message? No, I, no. Waiting around's not gonna help. Well, I don't know, sometimes my dad needs time to settle down. Michael. Fine, fine. Okay, I'll text him. It's, it's usually at the gym this time of day. You saying I'm garbage? Yeah, you're a piece of garbage. It was my fault. Oh, I asked Sonny to spar. I just guess I'm a little rusty. How could you take advantage of him, Dad? You heard the man. He wanted to spar. No, he's bleeding. This was a beatdown, uh, and you know it. Michael, it's not what you but think it is. I get that is. you hate him, but that does not justify this. What is wrong with you? I don't even know who you are anymore. I mean, this. On the next General Hospital. I'm looking for this man. Have you seen him? I have to call my people. Is that really necessary? I need you to arrest Dad. I just wish Michael hadn't seen Sonny beating the crap out of me. Is that a fact? Well, I need someone who's got the real moves. Do you know anybody like that? 